AITA has set up what it calls a neutral committee to settle the issue with the rebel players. But Mahesh Bhupati claims that this committee is not unbiased and has threatened to expose the federation. The AITA, meanwhile, has questioned his motive. And it's all over! It's a massive standoff in Indian tennis. Mahesh Bhupati in a no holds barred interview to your channel, attacking the Tennis Federation. It's very disturbing, like I said. I mean, all of us uh, were very, uh, you know, hopeful that uh, somebody from the management would actually take charge and get things done. But it uh, doesn't seem like the case. I think, uh, you know, the people mentioned in the committee, I think two of them have, uh, you know, no background with tennis. So I think it's very frustrating from the players' point of view. Bhupati accusing the AITA of not being unbiased. I have a, a lot of respect for Mr. Naresh Kumar and being our ex-captain and what he's done for tennis in the past. But, you know, there's been some very disturbing articles from uh, his uh, notepad uh, in the press uh, circulating recently. And, you know, to put him on the committee, I don't know if that kind of con constitutes an unbiased committee at all. But the AITA maintains that Bhupati has vested interests in taking on the federation. We are paying the players the highest in Asia. No country pays as much as we do. And uh, still that's not enough. So the motive is something else. And uh, we thought, all right, if they, if they don't have confidence in us, uh, let us form a neutral committee. Bhupati, however, threatened to expose the AITA bosses, saying they had not done anything for Indian tennis. You know, he's used pretty harsh words as blackmail and, uh, you know, other things that uh, really don't go down well with us. I don't think he wants to get into a war of words with the players. Uh, otherwise, we have a lot of things to we can say about the management and what they have not done for Indian tennis in the last 30 years. For the moment, Indian tennis is at its lowest point after losses against low-rung teams like South Korea. And with the Federation and the top players not seeing eye to eye, a resolution in the near future is highly unlikely. Sports Bureau, Times Now.